So here we got Jez's setup in his uh, looks like a Hennessy hammock. We've got Ant there with his uh, wall blanket to hang over the top and his TW tarp. And then my setup is over here. <laughs> So I've got a TW, 2W ultralight with a uh, snug pack under blanket and then a, just a DD 4x4 um, but if we, as we get far, further away from the, <coughs> as we get further away there is a frost started. Yeah, so look at this. Um, I've, I stitched up. Um, I'll probably show you again in the morning. But this is a continuous loop of um, webbing. So I've stitched that together and put a ring onto it. And I've, so I've choked it onto the onto the hammock. So a storm ring kind of thing. Onto a whoopee sling, and then onto a carabiner, and then onto the original suspension which I've stitched to make a loop so how this works um, these the carabiners um, now I'm pretty sure on DD they these were like 12 quid 12.99 I went into decathlon and bought a pair of carabiners with a web in in between and just cut them off and they were six pound night 99. I've repurposed the original webbing and this whoopee, whoopee slings were from Henge Hammocks on eBay um, and they're actually really nice and cheaper than the DD ones um, so it's given me a bit of adjustment on the hang um, and it packs down a hell of a lot smaller than using the original TW suspension because it's it was just this really thick webbing and there was just miles and miles of it so I only got one of the suspensions from one end and then repurposed it so obviously exactly the same the other end um, I've got a little pressic loop here with a stick so we can pull the pressic loop along and that keeps my hammock uh, my tarp nice and tight so that's it pretty basic setup but it's the, the first time I've used the whoopee slings I'm fairly impressed with them but uh, if I wake up in the floor in the morning, I won't be so impressed. Oh, can hear an owl in the background. And then wrap the bugger up in foil. Nice thick foil is uh, preferable, but if you've got thin foil, at least double it up. And then chuck that in the fire. Nice. Yep, go for it. Alright, there we go. Oh, Blooming up, yeah. look at that. Oh. That's well cooked, I like That's it well good. cooked to be fair. Eggs done, isn't it? The eggs definitely cooked inside of that, I can guarantee oh, yeah. it. Like and that is beautiful. Like yeah. And there's the egg. Oh, perfect. Oh, wicked, look at that. How beautiful is that? Perfect taste. It's a rainy day like this, my lens is steamed up. Smells it. good and it's going to taste even better. Mm, yeah. Right, so without too much blood and gore and getting strikes on my channel, this is a little monk jack deer I brought with me. Um, and we're going to try and cook it on a spit over the fire hole. Um, so yeah, should be should be really, really interesting. Um, it's going to take a few hours, I'm going to wrap it in foil, but um, nice rainy day like this, I think we could do with a good meal. Right, so just building the fire up now. Right there. 
want the monk jack on there. And he's gonna just gonna leave him on there for hours and hours. Um, wrap him in foil. We we'll get get the outside seared first, and then we we'll wrap him in foil and forget about him until it's at least dark. Um, These are just the uh, rebar um, net holders. We can hammer them in the ground as deep as we can. They'll go in a lot more as well. So here's the little deer wrapped in tin foil that we harvested from the tin foil tree, keeping everything bushcraft. Even though we have said already that we don't like using aluminium. <laughs> yeah, not, not a fan of aluminium to be honest, but. <laughs> When needs must. Tin foil is acceptable to a degree. Right? Yeah, totally. Got some oak on there. You should put some nice schmocky flavour into it. Hopefully. So yeah, it's getting there. Won't be touching it until it's dark at least. Tasty. Yeah, it does. It slots into it quite nicely, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Look at that. Don't make your bed. Shut up. Whoa, look nice and rare. No, oh, no, I don't like rare. I like well done. Go. Mm. Can't help himself. I know he should take a fillet, but help himself to a slice of fillet there, can you? Rub it, Jess? No, 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 it's so like it a bit better done. It? Okay. It's the problem with oak, the amount of tannins in the smoke, which mm. makes really acrid smoke, doesn't it? It's rather painful on the eyes, too. Good burn with that way, can it? Burns hot for ages, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it burns well, but don't help everything else is so wet. Mm. It's making it a real pig. This is not kicking out the heat. Mm. You need three times as much wood. That's a massive fire, isn't it? Really? Yeah. For the amount of heat it's actually giving out. I can hold me hand there, look. It's not actually that hot. So it's getting hot now.
going to really kick it out some heat now. It's just it takes so bloody long. The juices. Juices. That's what we want. Nice clear juices dripping out of it. Mm. Do you need a turn or anything? Oh yeah, I found. Do you want to send the foil anyway? <laughs> we'll give anything a go at this stage, I think. There we go, so we've got the uh, best of gap gone, and there's the shoulders oh, just having a little smolder. Let's get the, so the, the direct heat. There. There's the onions down there.